Councillor Evans and Gamble. Disclosure of interests. Public questions, anything from the public um, in relation to business on the agenda. Uh, total of 10 minutes for all public questions and expect each person to be limited to two minutes. Do we have anything? Yeah. Um, okay, just got reference to the, the minutes of previous meetings. Um, the last meeting was actually the uh, annual return meeting. Um, I've got some questions on that. The £6,000 printer lawfully purchased through the books of Fellow Parish Council um, was officially transferred off the FPC register, asset register, resulting in a £6,000 reduction in FPC asset values on the FPC accounts. Uh, simultaneously, a £1,000 um, VAT repayment was paid back to HMRC, which effectively resulted in a £1,000 loss to Fellow Parish Council. And then simultaneously, Fellow Parish Council received, by agreement with the bridge, a £1,000 identified in the accounts of miscellaneous to make up the £1,000 VAT payment loss. Uh, there's no mention of any of this in the clerk's notes to the councillors and the external auditors within the annual return. So my question is, why are there no notes on these financial arrangements, making it clear to the external auditors, the councillors and the public what is taking place? Your question is noted. All right, second question. Um, why is the asset register included in the annual return to the external auditor? missing all the entries for, entries for the purchase and disposal of the 2008, 2013 and 2018 bridge printers. And any other assets which have no longer been held by the council. It's the current, the one, the asset register that's included in the annual accounts with the ADR form is exactly what is, in, what is currently held at the date of the audit by the parish council which adds up to box nine, which, or box whichever it is. So the other things like the printer that was disposed of, like the, um, the printer that I used that was disposed of last year is no longer on there either. Right, the um, last question is, <clears throat> uh, the order force paid itself an extra 800 pounds which when questioned at the meeting said it wasn't as a result of a pay agreement, agreement backdated to April 2021. The pay agreement was for 1.75%, which for a £7,000 salary comes to £122.50p. £800 minus £122.50 <laughs> comes to £677.50, which is unaccounted for. Um, meetings took place in closed sessions in October and December 21 regarding contract changes, but nothing was agreed. It was referred to the contracts working group who have no remit for employment issues. No further meetings took place prior to the payments being approved, so no contractual or salary changes have been agreed by Fulham Parish Council. At the payments for approval meeting, the RFO did not provide any details of what the £800 was made up of, other than due to back dated pay agreement. So my question is, who has verified this extra £677 as a lawful payment and what is it actually for? Your question is noted. Okay.
financial summary and budget planning training pages to The insurance points come out now. Um, and we've paid the subscriptions um, for now. Um, but we, was, we said that we would review the other subscriptions, so I think a couple of them have started to come in, so I'll have a look and kind of see what there is. So, for example, Clark and Councils Direct, which we sort of felt heavily towards a bit, just promoting other councils and less uh, useful buildings. Everybody happy? <coughs> Payments for approval. Southern Electric, Felton WI, and Staking, Blue Pile, subscriptions. Best part, I presume that's the cemetery mail. Yeah. Yes. Felton surgery to review progress. Council Thorne's uh, statement that he would arrange a meeting or endeavour to arrange a meeting came to nothing. <laughs> also, last Wednesday I called in. I asked to speak to either Dr. Leeds, if possible, failing that, whoever acted as uh, secretary or being the practice manager. I was told there was no practice manager. have to go through the surgery here. I emailed um, a gentle request for an update, zero response. However, I have heard just this morning from a reliable source that in fact things have been progressing and that a sure are trying to do, they're making a progress, that's all I will say. Things are not dead in the water yet. There is uh, also, we have agenda item 15, there's a query that should we go for outline planning commission. Sorry, I don't know why I put it on twice, I must have been doing a bit with you. Um, we, know, we know the land is the, was originally earmarked by the plans for the surgery. Um, personally, I feel not much it will be achieved by spending money on outline planning commission, but that is my opinion. Can I just ask, does it cost? Yeah. And how much does it cost? Um, I think it's about £400, but we would get it half price <coughs> as the parish council. Um, but then there would have to be a second application put in for full but I know, I know. at the same price. So again, you would get a half price. So the two applications would, if we, if you see, you, we would have to make, we would either have to make two applications, or we would make the outline and have the commission, and then they would make the proper one. So 
So it just seems like. Yeah, yeah, and I spoke to Rob Murphy and he confirmed that they can put the planning application in themselves despite not yet having a dressing room. Mm -hmm. And part of what I knew that they hadn't put any planning in because at the moment, as you said, the sure are obviously assessing the, um, the cost in relation to the higher cost of. Um, With regard to your request of the third parish manager, I believe the parish manager is on the city. The word was we have no parish manager. That's what they said. Okay. That's interesting. Well, we've been there on the, um, the PPT meeting. We have been led to believe by that, at least, that the practice manager is on sick leave at the moment, but has been from the, the So what happens, we put the outline of the information with yeah. as much detail as you've got, and then they would, you know, let's hope, grant it with reserved matters, and then a full application has to go mm -hmm. in dealing with all the reserved matters, and at the moment, I, yeah. we have no details. <coughs> Everything will be a reserved matter, the design, the, sh the shape, the, like, yeah, the location. Yeah. Like, so so you, you, you don't, don't need that. that no, you don't need it, but then you're going to have to put an application in with dealing with those reserved matters, which seems that... I remember seeing a resin of the oh, yeah, 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 so yeah, there yeah. was some outline design, it but I, I mean, but also I don't it's out with the conservation zone. I don't see mm -hmm. planning barring any no. residents or village objections to it. I don't see it actually yeah, so getting what, what, to the stage where it's getting objected. Sorry, I think the explanation sentence before yeah. so, um, what I'm saying is we've got we've got the, the cons for this. Would there be any benefit to doing this? Is what I'm saying for a balanced argument. Well, I think what the PPG were thinking of was it was one one more step along the road, so to speak. That we had outlined had information, mm -hmm. and if it goes ahead, which it should do, fingers crossed, um, then you don't need to go through that step because it's already. That was just the thought of right. the PPG. Anybody, anything else to add? But what's to stop the surgeon putting a plan and outlining it out? Yeah. But you won't at the minute. So I think if they're not willing to spend a good equipment, I don't see the benefit of us doing it. Because that they're not even willing to discuss it with us. We're getting no idea from them um, other than we don't get you're saying so that they're, right. they're wanting to do it. So we leave the question of the uh, Outline Planning Commission in abeyance for the time being. Item 7, standing report from the County Council. Have we heard? No. No. Update from committees and working groups. Um, well, the Rec Lane Committee, we have. Rec Lane. Rec Rec Fuel. Rec Bark purchase has been poised, ready for arranging when we can arrange manpower. Thank you.
Just that they said they were going to. So, uh, for the benefit of the public, we had a, an allotment catch up meeting where we expressed the concerns that had been raised by the um, to us by residents, in particular the garage holders. Um, they did appear to take that on board. They listened. Um, there was a bit of dialogue, and then they said that the next steps were either they were going to consult their manager because it was either a point case of um, stopping the project where where it got to or continuing to the next step before they took that decision, the next step being public, wider public consultation. Um, and they've decided to progress with the public consultation. So they are having a one or two drop-in sessions at the hall and a stall at Felton Fair. And that hall's card on everybody, isn't it? And then they're the sending the those cards to people. But I think this is, yeah, the wider consultation is the, the drop-in of it. It's the online, um, Forum thing as well. So I've mentioned it whenever I've when I've seen a lot of uh, garage holders. Sorry, I've mentioned it to them um, that there is a consultation that will take place. I would encourage anybody on either side, pro or con, the development to make their feelings known to NCC at one of the consultations. And if you know, if you do see people, I haven't got contact details with garage holders, so I can't contact them directly. But if you do see people, let them know. I mean, I, I think that that was a, it was a really, really good meeting um, for everyone that turned out to it. I thought everybody contributed really efficiently. Um, I think the important thing that... Now got our own special one. Our own special, <laughs> special ones. <laughs> and um, the, I think the important thing was that we that got put across is that people weren't communicating with them directly, but were communicating with us. Yeah. And the, absolutely vital it was that they then communicated back with us and that those you know channels were open um so i think in that it was um it was really worthwhile wasn't it i thought it was unfortunate that the husk survey at the site had not been done first mm. they arranged the husk survey after that meeting our one or their one the husks I'm sorry the first meeting on the second what was it was the friday meeting? after my meeting on the monday but was that not, they were just, was, oh, was that the Husk people? Was that right? It was a level survey. Yeah. That would have been far I more just, useful. I understood that was stuff that they would need for the planning application that, if it should go ahead. Well, it was going through what you were talking about, uh, who's came first. Yeah. To see if it's viable or not. Exactly. Which is why I think they progressed with that because she did say to me, don't worry if you see people there, it's not that we're storming ahead, it's that we have to carry out this perhaps because it hasn't been already done. Well, I mean, see, obviously, the two unions concerned, all they have all been in the garage a few times. I saw her the other day, she's been there again. Well, I, I know somebody, one of the garage residents, resident, so I know what the garage, two of them, still so haven't looked through their garages. I mean, they were invited, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But all they, all the ladies could talk about was the principal from the NCC side. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, we just have to wait and see what what comes up from the Husk survey. <coughs> Standing item update from Northumbria Police. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh huh. There have been no crimes reported in the Felton area between the 6th of May and the 29th of June, which would have a wider community impact. Neighbourhood officers received a report of antisocial behaviour by youths who are reported to be congregating in the corner of the wreck field. Residents are encouraged to report any suspicious activity or antisocial behaviour by the 101 or web submission. They will continue to provide enhanced visible patrols in the village. Not that I've spotted them at all. Um, Quad, there was a, so these are some just some Northumbria police alerts. Quad theft, there was a theft of a red Honda 254 track from a farm near Long Flam on the 16th of June. The quad was fitted with a track and re recovered um, in the, near the locality. 
attempt had been made by offenders to remove tracking unit. So obviously just be alert that you know make sure things are locked away safely. Uh, reminder, please pass on to anyone you feel that would benefit from the below advice. Keep dogs on the lead when walking in rural areas where livestock are kept. Beware of even small lap dogs can attack farm animals. Report attacks by dogs and sightings of dogs roaming the countryside to local farms or the police. So that really applies to people that are not, you know, in the country. Um, Operation Checkpoint, they, on the 30th of March, have we had this one before about Operation Checkpoint? On the 30th of March, officers from Northumbria Police, Rural Crime Team, Neighbourhood Policing Teams, Op Dragoon and Operations Department participated in Operation Checkpoint. They were supported by a network of rural crime volunteers and partners such as the Environment Agency. They worked with Durham, Cleveland, Cumbria Police, Northern West Yorkshire Police. So it was the biggest, one of the biggest multi-agency operations ever. They stopped 70 vehicles, almost 70 vehicles, seized drugs, arrested suspects and targeted initiatives were carried out, all part of a continued fight against criminal activity in rural communities. An ongoing proactive initiative targeting suspected criminal activity to disrupt the organised network and protect communities by acting on local intelligence and emerging crime trends. So that's their big success. And then they're just um, advising again about their new Northumbria Connected Service, which is how they're going to communicate with people. So there you go. Thank you. Yeah. The meeting lane bus shelter to discuss quotes received and to agree next steps. We did well, have the a... current situation is that we resolved to demolish it, now yes. it's ways and means. We did. So we did have a quote came in from mm -hmm. Lewis, which is higher than, so it's more than so. John had been led to believe. So it's whether or not I think it, so the quote came in at six hundred and fifty pounds, which was uh, I think which was I think four hundred pounds for the work. And two hundred and fifty pounds for skip hire and waste disposal license from NCC, um, which means I think we probably do have to go to getting further quotes because it's you know a considerable chunk more than you know than we expected. Um, and if if we can't think of people or if there isn't going to be a solution, we can always still go through it. So I think it's worth it. Well, sure, and but they'll sure and we won't know anymore. Well, we won't know anymore. It's so all prepared to pay anything towards it. Or towards the demolition, as yeah. you said, we didn't, we didn't have that discussion. They just said that they were prepared, to, they wanted to take on the maintenance and then we had an about turn and decided not to. <coughs> I have got that inviting from the clerk. Mm -hmm. Because there was a, there was... The, I, mean, I think, yeah, but I think they decided at their meeting and then subsequently that's when they yeah. had yeah. yeah. Is it worth considering that? Well, I'm sure it's a very great idea to people how we're going to change documents. And no. the minutes, the minutes more or less said that we did want to take it on, yeah, and didn't want it to be demolished. And then, so we we sort of noted that and queried it, and they said, actually, we don't want it after all. I mean, we can give them long. We can wait till the next meeting because presumably they will ratify that. Have, have we notified them that our piece is to then demolish? Yes, so they know. They know. They know it's it's at the clerk in Bradford to say they didn't want to take on the maintenance and we could proceed to demolish. Well, all I can say is that it actually was built by the people in that town. So perhaps they need to take some responsibility for demolition if they paid to build it. The situation is, it's our property. Mm. No, it's not our property, it's just in our parish. Well, it must be ours as well. Not on our own. Not on our own. I think it is, isn't it? No. Sure. But presumably it's unsafe, so we need to do something about it. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So does anybody have any other ideas of who might want to provide a quote? Any other thing? I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you, if you want to go back to Tom and what Yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll have a chat with Peter because it wasn't, it was not anywhere near what he said.
how complicated would it be if it comes over less money for us to make so you have to then pass all the responsibility over to the warden? They don't want, I don't think they want to. No, but if the warden will just stand it up, you know, put the roof back on it and said, here, yeah, here's that gift to you, it's now your responsibility. If that actually comes out more cost effective, then I would say that everyone's willing in that situation and it might be worth asking that yes. question. Asking the question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if we give it to you in a, a, a yeah. useful yeah. condition, yeah. are you, would they take, take on the asset? Well, okay, we so, ask. yeah, in, in, in the meantime, anybody that thinks they can think of anything that might want to demolish or yeah, fix it. I think, yeah. I, think, I think the issue with that is that the price of skips has gone up so, so much. Mm. Yeah. Um. Okay, right, red phone box. I pose my own question on this. What is required for a reasonable overhaul in situ? I have an answer. <laughs> um, you went after shop masking. <clears throat> I did. Now, before I say anything else, I need to declare that I know this guy personally. Um, he, his, his business is attached to the side of my business at work, so I definitely don't want to be uh, accused of seeking friends to do work, etc., etc. But um, they do have a company called EcoBlast. And they are a paint, uh, you know, a restoration sort of place. Now he met with me on Monday last week, and then again on Saturday. Um, and his opinion is he could do a full restoration on site. And so his quote reads: on-site shot blasting of the foam box to remove the glass. Repair as needed to the, well, you call it the chassis, but you know what I think it means. Um, prime and repaint with red oxide paint and the correct colour code BS539 enamel. Um, repaint the crowns in gold, replay, replace the, the lettering, replace all of the glazing, um, paint the inside and outside. And there's a few. Like, like holes, which I think looks like they've been bored in deliberately for something. And he said if they are not needed, that he could, uh, you yeah. could, could weld them and, and, and fix it. So he, oh, ten tokes, come on, that's not mine. Well, painted materials, 560 parts, which includes um, the, the safety glass and the um, rivets to fit it in. £1,900 labour, which part of that goes towards the um, the blasting side of his business and the part of the paint restoration. Uh, the VAT of 570, so 34260. And I did mention that it was a public place, so you would have to have some sort of gazebo type thing over it. But he's given me this for you to consider. And he's also said if you have any further questions or want to have a site meeting with him tomorrow. So that's actually comparable to the last quote because then he's put without the delivery because there's no collection delivery that's going to take it. Yeah, um, he, he, he sort of tried to itemise the job bit by bit so that if you, have, if you got a company in to just do grip blasting, and then if you got a company in to just do glazing, if you got a company in to just do painting, he can do all, all of that over two sort of small shop. Yes, and he, and, he, and he says with minimal impact. On the on the village, you could have it done in three days. Yes, but your original plan brought the two check, put it in the car, lifted. Yes. It's taken me in. But then it was expensive. It was the cost of haulage. I know. Yeah. Have you any figures for that? Yeah, um, it's on an email, but it, it was basically 500 and something pounds to have it recited and 800 and something pounds to have it taken away. So it's just a thousand and more coming into the new. So on their website, they said, and I had a, I had a caveat saying it was, it was from 2995, plus to that. And then if they had any panel repairs to do on top of that, it would be around about £120 per panel, but he wouldn't know until he got it stripped. This is slightly cheaper than that, that? It's, Yeah, it's slightly yeah. cheaper, but they've said... And we've got haulage costs as well. Yes, but, but because he's looked at it, touched it, 
he's he said that, that is the price. Yeah. Yeah. You know, he's not gonna he's not gonna strip it down and say, oh, by the way, what's two more panels? Okay. And like he said, he would he'd be more than happy to come and talk to you about it. He said he'd be come to the to a meeting to uh, to do that if you wanted. But the only problem with that is that the next thing comes up till September. Yes. But we're having a, a special meeting. Not special meeting either. Because we need to decide, I guess, as well. We, um, I'd emailed the conservation at County Council, and there was this question of getting planning permission um, or, or filling a form to ask whether we need planning permission at the very least. Um, and I think it would be really helpful now we've got like a sort of plan that we can send that in. I think, I think off the top of my head, I'll have to check the figures. I think it's only about 30 or 40 pounds for a pre application advice to get told to get told if we need planning permission so we could do that well we should have it's not pre-planning advice what you want to do what you want to do is do you have to have planning they won't do it unless you pay for pre-application advice so they won't do it by email or telephone they require the required form and the fee there's a service called do i need planning permission yeah. it's the same it's the same people who make the decision but they were looking at the application oh, form so do you want me to go? Do you want me to put in the, the pre-application advice request? Not the way it's on. Yeah. Well, at least then you know we know where we are. I believe Anne sent me a link on Felton Thurston Matters Claire for Banborough having nerfed them. Is it worth contacting Banborough Council just to see what? I think they, from, from reading around, it looked like they had just got some sort of, I think just a local person had done it, but yeah, I can certainly follow that up. Because I think the Coffin Kettle had sort of taken ownership of oh. We need a review. In my mind, we now need a review on paper of this root costs, that root costs. Yes. Yes. Just one more point in terms of if it's taken away, it's also the the um, the pavement, the, the surrounding that, that that's going to potentially be damaged and have to be redone to the specification. It would, it, it would be damaged. Yes. Yeah. So well, it, it would definitely be damaged. So then that's an added cost, and it has to be that the correct term um, colour. So. But again, again, there's no cost for that. Again, the other, the other company who were willing to take it away and restore it, they wanted it broken free from its foundation mm -hmm. first. So, yeah. it would, you know, that is a, cost, sort of a random cost that because it could be, you could totally damage it beyond repair trying to break it free. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he seemed, the, the guy, Jason, he, he seems to be very, um, I, think, I think it was easily achievable. Just, just the shot blaster type of thing. Uh, relatively expensive which is why it's, it's quite it's quite a high quote but um <clears throat> i talked to him about whether we could get away without shot blasting and he said the time taken to properly strip it all back yeah. you'd have to use chemicals whereas the, the, the shot is literally um grit and, and water um so he, he says it's the best way to do it so the so i mean to be honest this is the sort of thing regardless of which company we go for this is what we're expecting to happen mm. give or take the shot blasting so I would ask for pre-application advice based on this because this is basically a, a list of what we expect to happen. Well, that yes. that, that is a price included in the labour is fixing yeah. the, the the seemingly unnecessary holes as well because the holes don't look like it's rotted through. It looks they look like they've actually been bored and then painted, but they're a bit of a strange shape. So it's obviously for a it's clear what, if, I mean, from, from the terms of the planning department, it's clear what we're planning on doing. We're removing the existing paint. We're removing the glass. We're repairing it and we're repainting it. So. If you want the hand, then the number of this hand would be sort of yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. Yeah. filling out a nice space. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if, is everybody happy for me to apply for the yeah. application advice? He, he is also doing work for uh, other, other parish councils and stuff, so if, if his work can be uh, checked. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. On future creation, I just think would be a, a prerequisite. Yeah. I don't know how long the guarantees. I don't. I don't know how long the guarantee would be. But he says it's guaranteed on here. It says um, guaranteed customer satisfaction for twelve months date from the invoice. Um, this painted to perfection guarantees this workmanship. So you've got rural rage rectifying problems you may have excludes corrosion work. So. 
but at least it's you know you'd hope you would hope work within 12 months and you had yeah, a very long no i would say five years yes yeah. in construction 12 months is standard on something something so little minor works like that pretty standard you would only be talking longer warranties if it's like a roof or you know the main structure of your building yeah for longer We can ask them if we can get a bigger guarantee. Yeah. Right, okay, well, I'll cross the, I'll cross the planning page, we'll see what they say, and then. Um... Would you like to talk to him about it? Do you want, because he, can, he, can, he said he would be happy to advise what he needs doing. Because, you know, a piece of paper with a quote on it, or an estimate on it's handy, but he said he's more than happy to come up and actually show you the process. So we need to find out from planning first and then invite them once we assuming planning, the I'm assuming planning will just say yes, it's just whether we need to go through the rigmarole of a formal planning application to, to, to do that, or whether it's under planning development, which is what we sort of hinted it might be. Um, but we couldn't possibly tell them unless I paid the thirty pounds. The one thing it doesn't say is removing all the internal fittings and real estate. Yes. Well, I did say to them that it was used as an info box when it said that um, if it was like everything would have to be taken out that didn't that you didn't want to get damaged or or restored, you know what I mean? Uh, but I didn't actually have a conversation with them before I went back in because I think it's a bit of a golden opportunity to to say look we want we want this in the term. Yeah. So a lot of the a lot of the phone boxes that are info boxes have got different types of notice boards on them, whereas the restoration process just puts a black a black board back on which probably yeah. wouldn't be in use or only. I mean, in, in the scheme of things, taking out the um, the current um, furniture, for want of a better word, is is a minor thing. Mm -hmm. So, if they would accept taking it out and putting it back, fine. Yeah, I think, I think the conversation needs to be had. What do you want? Yeah, well, how do you want it to go back in? Because if you're going to do a full restoration on the whole thing, putting it. Uh, I don't mean to use a, a harsh term here, yeah, a tiny shelf back in seems a little silly. When you could refurb at the same time, you can you? That, that's got to be looked at as a separate job then. What well, do you think they would do it? Well, I think I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they would do it. Because he, want, he, has, it, he wants to totally paint the inside of it as well, so he has to take it out to do his job. And, and that price is for a finished article, isn't it? So, you know, he's even talking about what type of he's so doing doing his research into what shape of gold the ground etc. So. But that's why I think it's probably a good idea to get him up to have a chat. Thank you. Okay. Are we done? Yep. Yeah. Local transport plan. Um to discuss to discuss in the great priorities. Three items. Parking traffic issues are beautiful. This is our last one. South view, South Lane, B. So we've got till the end of July officially, that's the official deadline. Um, and they said they've moved it forward because it used to be a deadline for September. I saw it soon. Yeah. So they moved it forward to give themselves more time to assess. So that suggests to me that there might be some leeway to ask for an extension if we need one. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm saying that is because Richard McKenzie from Highways had suggested that he could, I said, you know, I expressed that we were unhappy with feedback and was there somebody that could come and discuss setting the priorities. They discussed the, the jobs from the particular rule um, and he did say he was happy to come out but couldn't meet. I think he said next week he would be more free. So what we could, I mean, we either try and decide tonight, or we could, we could try, we could um, decide something in principle, pending a feedback from a meeting with him. I, I don't know if it's worth it because I feel like we sort of jumped through these hoops last time, and we sent in Fiona's extremely hard work, Fiona's report, her reports together, and they just um, gave us these really, really chopped in the back of the report. Yeah. I think it's the only other thing we were talking about the one year for was attracted by the RFC. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the finish. Yeah. To stop co working. Yeah, it would come and fail to be done. Well, I think. 12% should be covered in this for the one. Right? That should be 
that's what we might have said, what we gave some suggestions, I think it was all sort of connected. Um, and that's what we said, a speed survey will be carried out, so I don't even know whether they would consider it until they've done this survey, but that's no use to us, because if they haven't done the survey by the day we don't need to submit the requests by, how can we possibly make an informed decision? It just feels a bit of a, a chicken and egg scenario. It is. We also asked them question cotton, didn't we? Mm. But they haven't done the survey for that either. So, do you want me to proceed with this meeting with Highways? And then if we can't, yeah, and then you might have to have a, a you know, a follow up meeting. Uh, unless we've got an individual from County involved, we're not going to get anything. Yeah. So, we might have to have a follow up meeting with Seth unless we can, unless they're prepared to extend it to our September meeting for our deadline. I just don't want to start assessing other people's claims. Well, they, they have to assess everything, won't they? It's because then they, 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 then they rank them and put them into their works programme. So I think if we could ask for an extension, if, if, knowing that we're trying to meet kind of meeting. I think we're beating our head against the wall. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. well. They sort of say, there was some sort of hint somewhere that it, they, they obviously prioritise things which align with their own um, aims, mm. transport aims, but you well, know, so... Do we know mm. what the person asking for is speed on one of theirs? Because if Delton and person are aligned on that, then that might be a benefit mm. to us. Mm. I know the touching signs as to who are the uh, county councillors yeah, we'll have to pay for that. Oh, yeah, we'll get it, we'll get the money from the county council. Because I know there'll be a big round of money because the county council are quoting one figure for these signs to parish councils. And when the those in charge to the local council had saw that scheme, it was about a third cheaper. That's, yeah, the the to make that's how I first got there, so I'm going to Right, okay, so I've got a meeting, a meeting with Harry's, um, well, with, yeah, meet with Harry's and yeah. you three. Mm -hmm. Can I make a suggestion? Um, I think that it would be a benefit if it was signed. You know, on the A1, where it's signposted, local facilities or whatever it is, if, they, if we get the 20 mile an hour zone that is advertised off the A1 by saying that it is 20 mile an hour zone going through the village, to try it, so I've got a migraine effect. I know what you mean, You're saying I'm trying to stop people from using it as a rat run. Oh, I see what you mean. So that when people come off, people are trying to avoid a crash. For yeah, example, or that, that, that they know that they're going to slow down, so it's yeah. actually possibly going to be slower yeah. than just going in the main traffic. If there's a way that we can do that, I can't run the problem with that. Um, I don't know that we can. I don't know if there is such a thing. But so you can ask if there was a full reclassification of the speed for the road, that would go get uploaded into map systems and, and sat maps, and maps and etc. Yeah. So that it would yeah. then plot your journey as slower on that yeah. road. Yeah. Or at a fair 20 mile an hour speed yeah. instead of 30. Mm -hmm. But it takes obviously time for that to trickle through the systems. Can okay, but try. Yeah. So I'll ask for an extension to September just with the caveat that well, no, it's see, see what you up with first. But we'll have to meet well, oh, yes. the parish council will have to take a decision. So mm -hmm. if possible, we can do that at our September meeting if they're prepared just to submit hours late. But there's going to be detrimental if we get the parish back on the yeah. yeah. Then the risk not getting even a say. I assume that they look at everything rather than first come first serve. So we can check that. <laughs> I don't know why I'm assuming anything with county council. Why? Because we're on the council. Right, we're done? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Item 14, social media. To agree what social media presence the parish council should have an arrangement to implement this. We've discussed this informally before. I'm not sure what the options are. As an office on social media, I am in 
younger person's hands. Not that you're just younger people, you wouldn't see. One basic question is, do we have a system that allows um, feedback, which would need moderating in some form? So, you, on Facebook, for example, you could have a <coughs> button or response to Facebook page and choose to allow uh, comments or not. Yeah. So you could use it as a one-way transmission of yes. information. A news, a news poll. Yes. So, yeah. You could do opinion polls on it, and you can do so. You can set opinion polls up. However, it's that's just relying on everybody on Facebook, which is kind of not fair. So, because some people do help, some people don't, some people wouldn't be interested. Um, but certainly, as a, a transmission into the village, it's certainly a, another way of, of doing it as well as everything else. Like about Instagram. Likewise, Instagram. A lot of young, a lot of young, young people are using Instagram all of them. I'm sure that's what I was going to say. We could be, we could um, even make TikToks and <laughs> yes. TikToks are little mini videos. <laughs> um, but a lot of the younger ones are using Instagram to so put quick posts up, and you can have comments on there, or you can cancel comments. Whatever we do, it needs somebody to set it up and keep an eye on it. When we have, I think it's a good tool uh, as an added way of engaging the community. So certainly, I'm more, I'm more than happy to uh, put things on on Facebook as requested. Um, can, can we share all posts on the platform first, um, which is already established? Mm -hmm. And this is the thing. I think there's so much of that group, which is you know. So people that are looking at it, that are doing things that would be utilising it if they're happy for us <coughs> to do yeah. so. But I think that would have to be one way of transmission. Um, I don't think that we've got the manpower to be taking comments on that. I don't think it's healthy and I don't think it's going to be in anyone's best interest. So my vote would be for one way transmission and for it. I mean, I, I think going through that on first, but it's going to be a stress for it. If all posts are put onto there and people can follow our parish council separately if they, if they want to be doing that, yeah. and that would be my vote for it. And the, the other thing would be that when, when once the parish council gets uh, presence on social media, if there's other things that people want to raise to our attention, you can be like uh, tagged in it or, or, or say swollen through something, and, and we wanted to have that information, you, you, can, you can tag yourself in it and, and stuff like that. So, it's just a link. It's a link. Yeah, it's a link. I think because I, I was saying that I was saying to Lindsay and it, um, I think I think you kind of need to go either extreme of the spectrum in terms of comments. You either because of what Gemma's saying about the resources to moderate. I think it's it's very time consuming for whoever takes that on, whether it's me or me and a combination of councillors or councillors that it's then starting to like affect. The, it, you know, it creeps into every part of the life. I've, so I think you either say you allow all comments, but make it very clear that they're not going to be moderated, you know, so that you are allowing that two-way process. You can look at them, but you're not going to engage on, in discussions with people online, or you could go to the extreme and just have it as a one-way transmission. And I think it has to be one or the other, because I think trying to moderate, I mean, the problems that Felton and Thurston get into, yeah. trying to moderate, I think, creates more problems than it needs to. So I think it has to be one of, you know... I, I think, personally, we should, if you, I'm not an expert on this at all. Before I've heard people say, I think we should creep before we walk. I think yeah. one way transmission is probably. Yeah. Uh, that would be my first opinion. Because we could open comments, I think John has mentioned before, we could open comments on particular posts if we were looking for input. Yeah. Or like, if that's like your, where you do the opinion poll yeah. stuff, where then you've got the opinion poll on the voting system, like you could use for the red field mm -hmm. stuff. But you may not opening it up to the whole village, the whole village saying, oh, no, I think you should do this instead or do that, or giving no. other options no. that aren't needed, and then also just getting into dickering arguments, which, is, which will happen, which happens often. This, this has got to be a way of getting quick communication to people to increase transparency, which is what we're aiming to do, and just get information mm -hmm. out to people. 
it's, I don't think it's going to be a healthy feedback mechanism for us to have open comments yeah. on it. Um, and we do need to be cautious with that. But um, it, I mean, it's just, you know, everyone in this room, apart from Claire, in Claire's time is already strained, is a volunteer. And, you know, it's definitely not something that I'm going to be volunteering to be moderating that or manning it. Yeah. Yeah. It seems we're quite clear yeah. one way traffic to stop it. Okay. So, um, how? And suggestions, it. please, how we, where we put it. So, I think Facebook. So Facebook would be, I think, we'll sort of starting with one place, Facebook, whereas we've got the community page for the Kelton First yeah. and Matthews. That's a good page. So us being able to link into there, sharing stuff would be good. So therefore, I would say Facebook would be the best. I do understand, although I don't have Instagram, so I don't know. I think you can set it up for your, your Instagram posts automatically share to your Facebook page. So it could be that we, we have the two working on the option. <coughs> Yeah, I mean, it's close to both, yeah. What then, like, yeah. you could and I think, it both. having done a bit of reading, I think the most sensible thing is to set up, set it up with the clerk as the, the clerk as a sort of and con then, control and control admin, and then so that that would be passed on if it needed to be, and then have additional councillors who want to do as, as people that have got additional rights to post onto the page if they want to. I think, councillor, how do we get lunch? Okay, well, I'm going to use your lunch. Yeah, I'll check. And the amount of information needed to go on to uh, Facebook is obviously between bits and starts, but it would be helpful if uh, you, could, you could, for instance, put a copy of the agenda on. Yeah. Or you could say, we are doing this this weekend, grab your shovels and wheelbarrows and come and join us. So, you know, it, it, would, it could be more of a notice board than anything else. And it will reach a different demographic from the notice boards that you have in the village. Definitely Facebook, possibly Instagram. Let's start there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll be on Johnny, you want to tell the second one? Sure. Depends on their age, Barry. Sorry? Depends on their age. All the 18 year olds I teach, not one of them is on Facebook, but they all have Instagram. Well, it is. So I'm really away. So, are we going to be up and running on that? As, as soon as we can get our eyes, yeah, we'll have yeah. a bit more constant down at some point. Felton surgery. Sorry, you've done that one already. That's my Neighbourhood plan. To agree whether to proceed with the neighbourhood plan and to agree next steps we're going to. Do we have councillors interested in the first question? Uh, Richard Evans has asked me to express his interest in his absence. That's right. I'm right. interested, but I don't currently have any time. The membership of the um, plan group is not limited to councillors. I think there are some people around the village that would be interested. I know, um, I know at least two people that have expressed an interest. Um, I think it's right, if it's going to start up and running, we could ask Richard Evans to um, contact interested folk. And but I think that I think the next step would be to have a, a sort of. Um, Special interest meeting where people can come along and ask questions and express that you know we've done that we did that the last time people were interested we've got a few members out of it um, and county council are happy to support those kind of events. So what kind of time are we looking on this? No, I don't know. Do we accept that maybe it's difficult over the summer and go for September? Well, if we do that, then we might. I'm hoping that our public consultation stuff wrapped up to put it to the end of the summer. I'm going to call a hope and have a good one out in September. But my favourite is just going to take and leave the family and get out to the people that come along there. That could be put on the Facebook. It could. And we've got, we've got, we could put, can we, at the fair, we could put a, a set of sign up sheet of people that are interested. That's a good idea. So aim for a meeting in September but start to get interest. So we're just putting something this month in the fridge. Uh -huh. About it, yeah. There's a deadline Sunday. Well, I, you know, it's oh, every day. Oh yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, well, we have an article. We have an article in the fridge, yeah. We normally try nowadays. We try and get an article in the fridge. 
I don't mind putting two on those ones because I've got a few things that I think could go in. So bits about the Bay Area, bits about the new social media, bits about the things that I want to do now. Good. For Sunday. <coughs> Correspondence received. I think everything has been responded to in some form or other. No, he hasn't had a response. He, 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 he said he, he hadn't heard back. So I'll ask if he is chasing. Mm -hmm. Correspondence received, dealt with. Planning moving very slowly. We have had one new committed. Um, but if you look at the number, I was just saying to Lindsay earlier, if you look at the numbers, the latest that we just have that bottom one in for 16 Riverside, that's now in the 2000s in terms of reference number. And there's still ones like Gemma's from you know the early early digits still not gone through. So it's just very, very slow. Respect that. Yeah. The one from the six river side, two feet river side. Still they're all still waiting, they're all still waiting for decision. What's the number? I don't know what's not the right size way. That's a question for council for. Yeah. Ongoing matters. There are a few critical things we could do a quick word on. <coughs> Transfer of land. Uh, the solicitor was chasing me it is with the other side to say that they're ready to sign, which we thought they had already agreed. I've asked why there's a delay. He says he just gets, keeps getting told that they're reviewing the file and will re respond. And now it's day, he says that they've come back to say they're going to respond tomorrow. So that's unfortunate for us, but um, hopefully means that I'll have an update shortly. The waste bin outside Hellrise shop. Has turned back up. It's going to turn back up anyway. Um, yes. The, op right. <laughs> the operative. So I had spoken to local services who said they didn't know it had been removed. Um, but Hazel and I caught the operative today on the street and he said he had to remove it because it was so full that he couldn't properly empty it. So he just took the whole thing away to get it to empty it at the depot and clear out. So uh, it hasn't been brought back yet. He said it's on its holidays. Um, but I think it's, he couldn't get it. He had other things that he's transporting around this morning. He couldn't put it in his van, apparently. So I think it should be coming back this week. I think the point is that it needs to be added more often to improve on the they Well, yeah, there is this still argument that they think that, that, that there is business trade wants to be put in it, and they are. He has asked, because they apparently have a Saturday schedule as well, he has asked if it can be added to that so that we get an extra. It's always been emptied twice a week. If a Saturday would make a third emptying, really, maybe they need a bigger bin. Well, I mean, to me, I don't know what the site is on. If you on Friday, then you get on a Saturday. True, something. Yes, but there's two proofs of dinner. Well, but otherwise, what? I mean, I thought the end of the day is the dog being the three days a week. Sure enough. I don't know. I don't know. But on the, point, on the point of which he's raising, the other bin that's a problem is the one, we, you, you know, we all know, the dog waste bin at the entrance of the railway. And, um, so I should start calling it combination of entrance to Cobra Park. Um, and he said the particular problem with that is because you're lifting it from a height because the bin's raised compared to the other ones which are easier. Oh, so he said that's an easy Well he said if we're considering doing anything bins it could look to have a 
he, he would prefer, as an operative, having a, a dual purpose bin net, which is an ordinary, ordinary waste bin. What is your you know? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, but if we end up putting a bigger bin at Hill Rise, potentially you could move that one up there. Could we put the dog behind halfway down the um, new yeah. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> I know there's one there, but I need to be like, you know, on the corner of it maybe. You've got a sovereign dog that waits until you find 100 yards past yeah, the bed. Yeah, got one there. <laughs> right, notice board at cemetery. Uh, just waiting to be fitted. Who's going to fit it? Who's going to fit it? So I'll be. Yes, go on. I thought it was fitted. No, still my arm. Oh, cheers. An action plan as follow up from um, the annual meeting. Uh, so I have looked. I have looked for my uh, slipper submission. Lost my USB stick. Full of found it. It's purple, but the one I needed was purple with a green string. This was not. I can't access my online submissions anymore, so I'm going to have to do a proper my USB stick. It only has silver on it, so it's been hidden away after I completed it. But if I can't find it, what I, I only use online on a basis, so I'll find a relevant one and we can take it from there. Tree inspections. Um, I have a new person to ask. I'm going to, so I, and if we need to progress this, we will definitely have some tree quotes for you the next time. Just noticed the update today about the knotweed beside the entrance to the rack field. Yeah. Hopefully, John Stewart will have the right kit now to deal with it. I will, I had it hoped to get in touch with John before this meeting, yeah. but I didn't. I will. I will find out. Not John, but somebody who really can inject the stems. Yeah. So is that? Something that needs to be done, sorted out before the rack field or cordoned off or no, they're just, just fair, sorry. They're just literally drill into the hole, into the stems and so there's, there's, no, not, there's not, it's not an area that's going to be used by the fair. It's tucked away on the left side. It's basically between the Arkham's development and the concrete base. Well, right. Is it a large area? There is two patches. One just a beyond, just outside the end of the arc of it, in the rough there, and the other one is just outside the ribs. So the, the, the bottom one. The, again, that's in the rough. So, so it's something that, that can sort of them to get removed rather than just continue the treatment. It's just really but, difficult. No, no, I don't understand it. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is, is continual treatment of it is a good well, effort, for instance. If, if it's true. Kind of, So you can put it on the agenda for the September meeting. Anyone, anything else on uh, on green matters? Um, Aiden has to go. Sorry, he doesn't want to. 
on the back feel the wall seem to be getting quite extremely good now on the earring holes and I've noticed when the grass is cut there's like a triangle where they haven't obviously been able to cut because of the yeah. wall. And I'm just going to investigate more wool crops or whatever we need to I'll have a chat with you. I can go and harrow those wool crops down if you want. So I'm just crack. thinking normally they come in the cuts before the fair, don't they? You just done it. Yeah. It's already done. Yes, it is it done, I think. So that triangle is going to be there then? Yeah. Nice. It's just that's where it's often they've got the five size stuff. Where is it? Down, you know where the seat is on the side of the electricity box and then there's a seat further along. Yeah. It's like directly in front of that looking room because it's so like a triangle. Do you want me to sort that? All the help right through the seat. I can go and I can, obviously while there's nobody there, I can harrow it and then cut the grass if you want. I don't know, we can just leave the in a bit, maybe. I've got loads of grass seeds as well, I can chuck some grass seeds down. As long as you have your place to do that. Have you got time for the fair? I'm going to do that. Will it grow? Well, it, won't, it won't grow, but, but it will grow eventually. I can do that. I can do that to we, think we need to somehow get the um, more efficient. I don't know what's, in the, what's needed. More hours, more tracks. More poison. Ask no, 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 Last thing on, sorry, last thing on, on going back. Yeah. Did you get any further up the ramp? So, uh, I'm just waiting to hear back. Well, I spoke to the joiner about his, he had to provide a method statement to natural England. So, it's been by the agency, so we can check if we need a full permit. So, I'm waiting for you to look at that. And um, he did say, I said to him, um, being semi retired, I said to him, I need to provide a guarantee. So, well, I'll be guaranteed in my lifetime. So, he did emphasize his age. <laughs> <laughs> you guarantee we're down to the quality of the material. Yeah. But he said it, you know, he is using a tamalized, is that the yeah. word? Tamalized. Yeah. Can I just ask with regards to the fair, still can't speak. Um, I've said that I will man it for the first two hours, at which point I will be leaving it. Um, all the grandparents are out with COVID now, so um, I really will be. Um, and I'll, whilst I'm on there, I'll have to see my children with me as well. So have we got some, has anybody else going to be, yeah, are we going to organise some kind of road for it, or are we just... I'll be there, so I'll, I'll yeah. do the same. Would you like to ask any pictures and get an email? Yeah, I'll be there, yeah. thank you. Date of next ordinary meeting, 5th September. Is there items, items in next agenda? Does anybody have any? Just the co-option, obviously. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The co-option. Co-option. Possibly the local transport plan, depending on what the next one is. Um, uh, wonder whether we'll be in a position to make a decision on the ramp and the bone box by then. Yeah. Hopefully. And possibly some backfield things, that's what I'm just... Yeah. 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 Yeah.